With all the controversy surrounding national anthem protests in the NFL, there was really a subtle, spontaneous moment. It happened yeah. yesterday at the Cowboys game, and it really counters all that talk. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Brandon Todd. First responders coming off the field after a tribute showed kindness to a little boy who had police, a police hat and a fire truck. And the boy's mom says she had to find the DPS trooper who gave her son his hat. Richard Ray, play note with the story you will see only on Fox 4. Hey there, Rich. Good evening, Brandon. A lot of poignant and moving moments yesterday at AT&T Stadium. Those ceremonies marking the 15th anniversary of the terror attacks of 9-11. But that really was a special moment, an encounter with firefighters, police officers, and a two-year-old boy. When they came off, he was really excited to give them all high fives, and they started handing them little stickers and junior deputy badges. Two-year-old Cannon Lofton with his toy fire engine and wearing his favorite police hat. Greeting first responders from a sideline box at the Cowboys game as they filed off the field after a halftime ceremony. His mom, Cassie, a former Cowboys cheerleader, taking cell phone video. He's used to seeing cheerleaders and players on the sidelines, but that just made his eyes light up seeing the policemen out there. One of the lawmen, a state trooper, goes for a fist bump and then drops his cowboy hat on Cannon's head. A gesture his parents were so moved by that they posted the video to social media where it quickly got thousands of views and hundreds of shares. When they make little kids smile like that, I mean, as a parent, there's nothing better than that. I made it public on my Facebook um, just in case someone knew who the state trooper was. And it turns out I ended up getting tons of inbox messages of people who knew him. I found him. His name is Trooper David Stewart, and he's in Linden, Texas. And it's just really cool that we were able to find him. We haven't spoken to him yet. Um, I spoke to his sister who found me and gave me his information, so we're going to send him a little care package in the mail. I've had a lot of phone calls and a lot of texts today. We reached Trooper Stewart by phone in Austin tonight. He said it was a spur-of-the-moment gift for a little boy whose show of affection caught the attention of the whole group. We saw him sitting over there, and he had his police hat on uh, in support, and he was waving at us, and, and uh, we were waving back. When you see kids like that, and there's four brud, and for what we're doing, especially at something, uh, something like a ball game, uh, where it's just kind of out in the public, it was, it was pretty, pretty special. He did way more for us than I think I could have ever done with that hat. Mom and Dad say Cannon has long had a fascination with police and firefighters, and for the last 24 hours has wanted to wear his new trooper hat every waking moment. Take a while to find out who this uh, trooper was, but uh, through thanks to social media, it took no time at all. In fact, at last look, it had uh, nearly 400 shares on her Facebook page, and Hannon and Heather, or Brandon and Heather, had 26,000 views, and that, that's probably higher than that now. I love this, and I'm wow, sure he's going to have that, that hat by him for some time. Sleep with it, and you know I how kids are. Swinging with it, that's that's awesome. Thanks, Rich. We appreciate it. Good story.